And even the older fucking Batman, uh, uh, Ben Affleck, he was he wasn't level headed. He was a fucking hot head. No, and in fact, I I liked. This is one of the reasons I like Ben Affleck as Atman, as Batman as Batman. Batman, because he was playing that older Bruce Wayne that really fucking enjoyed what he was doing. Mm. Like had a bit of a sadistic edge to it. Like he was branding motherfuckers. I did like. Uh... Out of all the Batman so far, I I did like Ben Affleck's the best. Because he's the only one that was a great Batman and a great Bruce Wayne. Yeah, his Bruce Wayne was awesome. Exactly. And his Batman was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Because Affleck is a fan. Yeah, well, he's also a large guy. Like, he's, you know, he's... Yeah, he put on... I mean, you saw him shirtless in that movie? That motherfucker did some working out. Mm -hmm. Unlike Robert Pattinson. He was he was he was asked to work to beef up a bit, and he said no. And it's like, dude, they should immediately canned you. Well, and here's the here's I'm not my mad beef at the about, movie. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that out. Here's, there. I'm not mad at the movie. here's here's my beef about that. So, like, obviously, not everybody can get that jacked, and that's fine. Yeah. But Robert Pattinson <clears throat> was asked, "Hey, while you're in quarantine, can you please just keep working out?" We'll send you some equipment. Can you just work out and maintain the physique so that when we start shooting again, we're ready to go? And he said, no, I don't want to do that because I want to promote body positivity. Is that what he it's said? Like mother- yeah. It's like, motherfucker, you're playing Batman. You have to be in top physical shape and be able to. I mean, right. a good fighter, like a strong fighter, typically doesn't have six-pack abs. They eat a good diet and they fucking well, hit, de- hit like a goddamn train. It depends because Conor McGregor is six pack abs, but I mean, yeah, like, but you he's don't, also yeah, fucking yeah, five five and yeah, know. he's. I think the most he weight. I think the highest weight class he was in was like one hundred and forty. Well, that, that's the that's the thing. Uh, when when it comes to MMA, you have to be a certain weight class. You know, you have to be a certain weight to enter a certain weight class. So if you're if you need a certain weight and you're only five 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 six. You're going to be skinny and you're going to have abs. Yeah, but to your point, like Cain Velasquez, or at least I don't know if he does now, but I've seen Cain Velasquez without abs. And I wouldn't fight that motherfucker for... Okay, I'd probably fight him for a million dollars, but I would have no fucking dream of making it past the first round. (laughs) I can tell you how it goes. Ouch. Ow. (laughs) Ow. Ow. No, there'd only be one owl, and I probably wouldn't even finish it. <laughs> Wake up in the fucking trainer's room with a dislocated jaw, be like, what the fuck happened? Who that? Who there? And then, got and hit then by the water me, boy. And then they hand me a thousand bucks. I'm like, well, they asked the three thousand. God, 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 God. They asked the three thousand. Yeah, three thousand for three minutes. And he knocked you out in one second. 